author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. In this video, I want to talk about training the chow chow. Chows, big teddy bear looking dogs. Everybody wants to hug one when they see one. So here's the deal with chows. Chows can be independent, aloof, and they don't always like people coming into their personal space. You know, a lab has no personal space. You can fall on it, you can hug it, you can pick it up, and they're, you know, like I said, they don't have any personal space. A chow isn't quite like that. A lot of times they have a little bit of that, hey, don't come in and hug me. So it's very important that if you have a chow, that you socialize them like crazy when they're young, eight weeks and up. You want to get them around a lot of different people and dogs. And the big thing with the chow is you want to spend a lot of time hugging them because hugging is not a natural, normal thing for a dog. So what I always say is if you have a chow is you spend a lot of time hugging them so they get very used to it. Because like I said, the first thing a kid wants to do when they see a chow is go up and hug them. And if your chow is a little bit like that, you want to be very careful when people do come around your chow. So the thing with a chow when it comes to training is that you want to socialize and you want to develop leadership and you want to train using a lot of positive reinforcement. A chow is not going to take a lot of heavy-handed training uh, methods. So use a lot of positive reinforcement, socialization. If you follow these steps that I've talked about in this video, you'll have a nice addition to your family. And as I said, chows can be great dogs. So. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want more information on dog training, go to my website, AmazingDogTrainingMan.com, and you can get my free dog training blueprint. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your child.